morning. Welcome to today's version of the piano keyboard class, day two. Today, we will be exploring the white keys. Very exciting. Yesterday, we learned all about our finger numbers. We learned about the black keys, and that they're grouped in groups of two and three going up the keyboard. We learned a couple songs, and I hope you practiced those last night. Give me a love, give me a like if you practiced those last night, or even if you were just thinking about them. Make sure to follow our page on Facebook, and make sure to give us a subscribe and notify click on YouTube. That really helps us out and lets us know that you enjoy these and value them. So anyways, today we're gonna to explore the white keys. We will be learning a song and we'll be using both hands and using the white keys. So, but I wanna first just do a little review of yesterday because this is kind of a quick class. We only have five days to get the basics down. So let's um, review yesterday. Let's hold up our hands and we're gonna review the finger numbers. Remember on here, the finger numbers start with your thumb with number one and then number two, number three, number four, and number five. So we're gonna put our hands together. We're gonna play our finger number game and I'm gonna call out a number and wiggle those fingers. So if we're gonna start with one, wiggle your thumbs. Number two, your pointer finger. Number three, your middle finger. Number four, the tricky ring finger that's very hard to do, but you can get it. It'll get easier as you go. And then your number five, your pinky. Now let's throw in a few tricks. Let's uh, not go one, two, three, four, five. Let's go four, ring finger, one, thumb, three, which one's that? The middle finger, number five, pinky down there at the bottom, two, the pointer finger. That's probably the easiest one besides the thumb, and a one. Get those thumbs in again. Great. Now we're gonna take our left hand and number two and three, remember there's one, two, three. Let's just quickly go up the keyboard on the um, black keys that are grouped in groups of two. So find your lowest one on your keyboard. Um, I'm gonna bring this down so you can see a little better. Here we go. You're gonna find the lowest group of two black keys on your piano or keyboard and push those. And if you'd like to do it, remember we talked about when you're playing the piano, you wanna pretend there's a bubble under your hand. You don't wanna squeeze it and pop it, and you don't wanna be flat. So you just wanna gently curl your fingers around the bubble, and that's how you, so you can kinda of see that, pretend there's a bubble under my fingers. So you're gonna press those two black keys, skip the three, press the two, skip, press, go all the way up the keyboard, and then let's bring it back down. Oh, I thought I turned that off. I'm sorry about that. Um, and then we are going to use our numbers two, three, and four to press the three black keys. Okay. I'm going to just turn that phone off. I thought I had it off. And we're going to use the three black keys and go up the keyboard. Warm our hands up, warm our arms up. I have less groups of three black keys if you're using a keyboard that plugs into the wall. Usually they're not as long as a uh, regular piano. Then we're going to use our right hand. We're going to use our number two and three. We're going to start way at the top and find the top one of the group of two black keys and press those. And then back up the keyboard. Go back up, 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 up. And up here is considered the top of the keyboard. It is the high notes and it is the top. Now we're gonna use our two, three, and four, our middle three fingers. Press those three black keys at the top and bring them down. Go down very low. And then bring them back up the keyboard. Way up high, there we go. So we've gotten our fingers warmed up. And let me, oh, there we go. Um, yesterday, we learned a couple songs. We learned uh, Left Hand Stepping on the Black Notes song, 
And these are, again, on our website, mckeemusictherapy.com forward slash activities. You'll find all our printouts. Here's yesterday's first page and yesterday's second page where we learned Mary had a little lamb on the black keys. Let's just quickly go over rhythm again. Remember this right here with the note that's filled in, a circle that's filled in with a stem is our quarter note. It gets one beat. And then if you remember, we have the half note right here. It's the one that the middle of the circle is open with a stem. A stem's important. That's a half note. And then the one that's open with no stem is the whole note. The half note gets two beats. The whole note gets four beats. So let's just practice our rhythms real quick. We're going to do four quarter notes, four half notes, and one hold note. You ready? Get your hands ready. Remember the half note, we're going to clap and shake for the hold for half note. And the whole note, we're going to clap it and shake it three times. Hold note, hold it. And the quarter just gets a clap. So let's do four quarters, four halves, one whole note. Here we go. Quarter, 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 half note, half note, half note, half note, whole note, hold it. Let's try it one more time. Four quarters, four halves, and whole note. Quarter, 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 half note, half note, half note, half note, whole note, hold it. There you go, we've gone over our rhythms now, our quarter notes, half notes, our whole notes. And uh, we are gonna go over the two songs we did yesterday just to get us warmed up a little more. The first one, if you remember, let me step, stand up here. Um, we're gonna start on the left hand. We're gonna have our fingers on the two black notes with our number two and three finger, your pointer in your middle. And it's gonna go, Two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three. And then we're gonna do the same thing with our right hand, but we're gonna start with our middle finger, our three. Three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two. And that will go up here with your two and three of your right hand. Let's try that. I'm gonna bring the camera down so you can see. I'm gonna do it very low because it's easier for the camera to see the low um, two and three here. So let's start with our left hand. You get your number two and three fingers on there. We're gonna just do two, three, all quarter notes. Two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three just like that. We go left hand stepping on the black notes. There you go, I'll bring it up higher where it's more likely you're playing, with your belly's in the middle of the piano, right where your, the brand of your piano is, is usually written in the middle, or just right in the middle of the keyboard. We're gonna go left hand stepping on the black notes. There you go, that was the first song we learned yesterday. Then we're gonna do the same thing with the right hand. I'll do it down here, but this one we're gonna start on the upper note, the number three. Right hand stepping on the black notes. And I'll do it up higher where you're more likely to be doing it. Here we go. Right hand stepping on the black notes. There you go. That was our first page yesterday. You can print that out on our website if you like. I'm going to stick it up out of the way here because we're done with that one. We've gone past it. Now the second one we did yesterday, or the, I guess it's the third if you count the right and the left hand as two different songs, was Mary Had a Little Lamp. And on this one, remember, you're gonna use the th groups of three black notes. See that your um, right hand's gonna be up high on your two, three, and four, and your left hand's gonna be fairly close on two, three, and four. We're gonna start with our left hand. So get your left hand out, get it ready, and we're gonna Use your three middle fingers, your two, three, and four. And we're gonna start on our number two. Two, three, four, three, two, two, half note. Three, three, half note. Two, two, half note. Let's try that. 
two, three, four, three, two, two, two. Here we go. Right on the um, three black keys. We're going to start with our number two finger. Remember, we have the bubble under our fingers on the black notes. Two, three, four, three, two, two, half note, two, three, half note, two, two, half note. Sorry, I said two when I meant three on the middle. Why don't I try? I'm going to see if I can do this like I did yesterday so you can see it well. Uh, this way. Here we go. Ah, uh, there we go. Let me get a little closer. Two, three, four, three, two, two, half note, three, three, half note, two, two, half note. Let's try it one more time. Two, three, four, three, two, two, half note, three, three, half note, two, two, half note. I feel like my page is a fish swimming along there. Now we are going to move to the right hand. That one might be a little easier for me to do. We're going to start with our number four. Remember, that's your pinky. Put it on a group of three black notes, and we're going to press the top one. Four, three, two, three, four, 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 three, three, four, three. Whole note, hold it. Remember, on the whole note, you're going to hold it all the way down until you get to the end of hold it and then lift it. Just like those half notes, you keep it down, half note, like that. And the quarter, you just press and lift. And then if you remember, that double line with the two little dots in front of it means repeat. So you go back to the beginning and repeat it. So let's try it. You probably have the tune in your head enough where you don't need to look at the music anymore. I'm going to do it. One time saying the finger numbers, and then when we repeat it, we'll say the lyrics to it. So get both your hands ready. Sit up nice and tall. Feet on the floor. Remember, if your feet can't reach the floor, you can always use a book or an old Amazon box or something. But you're going to have your bubbles under your finger, your fingers on the black keys. We're going to start with our left hand, number two. Here we go. Two, three, four, three, two, two, half note, three, three. Half note, two, two, half note, right hand, four, three, two, three, four, 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 three, three, four, three, two, hold note, hold it, repeat. We're going to start with our left hand. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little to lamb, right hand, Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. Wonderful job. Let me see. You've got any questions here from any of you? Let's see. Hi, Avon. Hi, Escher. Good to see you. Hi, Rhina. Hi, April. Hi, Gloria and Melanie. Good morning to you. And we are going to move on to today's work, which, where did I put that? Right here. Today, we are going to learn some new and tricky things. We are going to learn about white notes. We did the black notes. Now we are going to learn the black notes. I mean, excuse me, the white notes today. We're going to start learning the letters for that. And you remember, if you took the ukulele class in music, we use A through G in the alphabet, and then we repeat it. It's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Let me get it up so I'm not, you're not talking to my belly. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That's how you um, do music. Hey, Nana, I'm glad you're joining us today. And um, so first, if you remember yesterday, I mentioned quickly the middle C. If you are sitting in the middle of the piano with your belly right in the middle, usually where the piano or the keyboard's logo is, I'm going to move this over. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it because the piano wood is dark. You see a little bit of the picture there. Our, mine says Wurlitzer. Mine is over 100 years old. It's from my, um, my dad and his brother played on it when they were little kids. My dad is not 100, but um, it's older than he is even. So you're going to sit right in front of there is usually 
Let me hold it up a little bit. Usually right in front of there is these two notes right here. These are an E and an F. But if you're gonna go to your first two groups of black notes, right in the middle, find your two group of black notes, and you're gonna go right, um, get your two finger, and slide it down to the left of there. That is your middle C. If you want, if you have stickers left over from the ukulele class, you can always put a little sticker there. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. I don't have them handy right now. But you're gonna put your two fingers on the two black keys, Lift up your three fingers, adjust your two fingers, playing the one black note, slide it down to the left, and that is your C. So it's always to the left of the two black notes is your C. Then if you go to the next two black notes and make your two fingers slide down to the left, that's another C. Find the two black notes, slide it down to the left, there's another C. Find another two black notes, Another C. Let's find all the C's on there. We start back here in the middle C. There's the middle C. We're going to go down here to these two. Slide it down. There's the C. Slide it down. There's the C. And the very low one. There's the C. You might have less C's on your keyboard. Um, so let's, I'm going to put this up here. We are going to take our left hand, our number two finger, one, two. We are going to play the C's going up and down the keyboard. So remember, find your two black keys, slide down to the left, and there's your C. And then you're going to jump up to the next C. And then you're going to jump up to the next C right next to the two black keys. Jump up, jump up, go as high as you can, and then bring it back down right next to the two black keys. Here we go. If you have any questions, let me know. But it's just to the left of the two black keys. That is the C. And if you remember that, the C right in the middle, that's your middle C. That's where you kind of count from, to find any other note you can get to from that C. So if you go, if you say your alphabet a little bit backwards, C, B, A, like A, B, C. You're going to find the A. Let me show you my picture of it. I, on the printout online, you can um, find that. If you go to the three black key group, and the middle of the top two is the A. So let's try to find that. Let's uh, I'm gonna pull this over again. Um, you're going to get your three black keys. Go to your two. Uh, and it's going to be right there. You see how that is? So if you found your C, you could count down. B, A, right between those three black keys, there's an A right there. So you're going to go A, B, C, here's your C that you started with. D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all the way up and all the way down. So let's find our lowest C we have. We're going to count up from there. Let's see if we can get this. So if we go to our two black keys way at the bottom, the lowest one you can find on your keyboard, and go down right next to it, there's your C. Let's count up from there. Or I don't know what the term is. Not counting, it's with our letters. Let's uh, letter up from there. And the, <laughs> that's not right. But here we go. C, D, E, F, G. G is the last note in music, so we got to start over. A, B, C. You see that C is right next to the two black keys. D, E, F, G. And then we're going to start over. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Start over. A, B, C. I'm at middle C. If you have a keyboard that's smaller, you probably pass middle C, but I'm at middle C right now. D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, let's get all the way up there, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, there we go. So, you can even play two C's at a time, if you see, play two of the same letter, 
They should sound good together. Uh, during this quarantine time, my piano hasn't been tuned, so it's probably not perfectly up to tune right now. And it is over 100 years old, so it takes a little more love. Um, but we are going to start right there. We're going to put both of our thumbs, both of our number ones, on that middle C. So, hey, my mom's watching, too. There's Sharon right there. Uh, hi, Mom. Thanks for all the piano lessons in college. Um, so... If you go to your two middle black keys and go down to your C right there, we're going to put our thumb there, our number one. We're going to put both thumbs there. Let me show you. I'm going to come down to a lower C just because I think you'll be able to see it better. So there you go. I'm going to find two black keys, go right next to it for the C. I'm going to put my thumb there and my left thumb. They kind of don't fit very well together, but we're not going to play them at the same time together. So we're going to Put our fingers on the keyboard like that. Let's lift our right hand. So just your left hand is on there right now. And put that thumb on the C. And then the finger next to it will be the B. And then the A. A, B, C, A, B, C. Like that. Let's practice that. Your middle finger is on the A. B, C. Let's see if I can make it a little bit easier to see. Let's see. A, B, C. You are going to probably be playing up here, though, where it sounds like this. There you go. So uh, we are going to try uh, to play this one song, this first line. I named it Middle C. And we are going to play with our left hand. A, B, C, B, A, B, C. I also put the finger numbers there if that helps you out. Three, two, one, two, three, two, one. Let's try that. So it's A, B, C, B, A, B, C. I'll do it down here where you can see a little better. A, B, C, B, A, B. So we hold it two beats. Let's try it one more time. A, B, C, B, A, B, C, half note. Then on that same C, you're going to put your right thumb. Just lift off your thumb and put your right thumb. And this one we're going to go C, D, E, D, C, 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 which is a half note. Or if you're using finger numbers still, you can do that. One, two, three, two, one, one, one. But let's try it with the letters. Let's put, find your two black notes, slide down to the left to the C and put your thumb there. C, D, E, D, C, C, C. I'll play it up here where you're going to be playing it, right in the middle C. C, D, C, oh, I'm sorry. C, D, E, D, C, 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 half note. Let's try it one more time. C, D, E, D, C, C, half note. And the finger numbers are one, two, three, two, one, one, half note. Let's put it together now. We're going to have both thumbs on the C. And then just put your other fingers next to it. We're going to start with the left hand on that A. Remember, it was in between the three black notes, the A there, right next to A, B, C, like that. Where to go? A, B, C, B, A, B, C. A, B, C, B, A, B, C. Right hand, C, D, E, D, C, C, C. C, D, E, D, C, C, C. Let me play it up in the middle. If your belly's right in the middle of the piano and you find your two black keys, slide down to the left and find your C. Put both your thumbs there. This is called the middle C position for your hands because both thumbs are on the middle C, the C that's in the middle of the piano. So let's start with our left hand. A, B, C, B, A, B, C. A, B, C, B, A, B, C. Right hand, C, D, E, D, C, C, C. C, D, E, D, C, C, C. Let's put it together. 
A, B, C, B, A, B, C, C, D, E, B, B, C, C, C. And then we put some words to it. Let's start on the A down here. It's a brand new melody playing on the middle C. Repeat. It's a brand new melody playing on the middle C. Wonderful job. Give me a like. Give me a love. Show me that you've you're trying. It is hard. It is new. Piano takes a little bit longer than the ukulele to get um, started on full song. So we are moving very, very quickly right now. So you can always go on YouTube. Um, it's youtube.com forward slash McKee Music Therapy. And there is a playlist there for piano and keyboard. So you can always redo the um, lessons over and over and keep practicing them. And you can print these out on our website, McKeeMusicTherapy.com on the activities page. Um, but so you just played this whole song on the white notes. This is all a new skill for most of you. And it's called the middle C position because our thumbs, here's our left hand, three, two, one, and our right hand, one, two, three. Both thumbs on the middle C is middle C position. We are going to do one more song today. And um, that one I called Let's Play. And we're going to use actually all the way down to our pinky, our number five. We're going to stay in the middle C position. So it should be fairly easy if you uh, caught on to this song before. Let me get up. It's a little easier if I stand up here. And we're going to start with our left hand again before we did C, B, A. Or I mean, sorry, we did A, B, C. This one, we're going to start in the middle C and go down. We're going to go C, B, A, G, F. G, A. So it's just going down one, two, three, four, five, four, three. It's just stepping down the keyboard and then stepping back up. Let's try that. I'm going to do it down here so you can see a little better. Get to your two black keys, slide down to the left to the C, and you're going to have your thumb there on your left hand, and you're going to start on that C, and you're going to get good at music. If you ask a musician to say the alphabet backwards, odds are they are more likely to be able to do it than the rest of the population. Um, I know in high school that was a trick people tried and uh, see if they could do the alphabet backwards, and I could do it the first time because I'd played piano so long, because you're always going down the scale and up the scale. So you'll be able to say your alphabet backwards. One new party trick for you. So the left hand number one on the C. C, B. A, G, F, G, A. See how it's just stepping down. One, two, three, four, five, four, three. But I want you to say the letters with me because we're trying to learn the letters now. We always start on C. C, B, A, G, F, G, A. Here we go. I'll hold it up for you while we do it. Here we go. It's the bottom one. C, B, A, G, F, G, A. You'll notice that A is a half note. C, B, A, G, F, G, half note. Then we're going to move to our right hand. You'll see the right hand is just C, D, E, F. We don't go all the way to the G here. Um, we come back down, E, D, C. So that one, you're going to have your, find your two black keys, find your C, put your thumb on it. C, D, E, F, E, D, C. Or the finger numbers, one, two, three, four, three, two, one. There you go. I'll hold it up while I do it. We're on the right uh, there we go, the right hand right here. C, D, E, F, E, D, C. Okay, let's put those two hands together. We'll play, I'm going to play on the middle C because we, um, that's where you're going to be playing it, so it'll sound more 
similar to what yours sounds like. Let's start with that left hand on the C. Find your two black keys, slide down to that middle C and put your thumb there. C, B, A, G, F, G, A, half note. And then a right hand on that same C. C, D, B, F, E, D, C. There we go. Let's try it with the words. I'm trying to remember what I put the words as. Okay. I went down to school one day, right hand. Now I'm home and want to play. I thought that was good for the quarantine time. Well, everybody's home from school now. Everybody's home from work, pretty much, except for those people helping us out with our most essential things. So let's try it again, the left hand. I went down to school one day. Now I'm home and want to play. Let's try one more. I'm so excited that you've got a bunch of white notes under your belt now. You've got C all the way down to the F. And then you have the C all the way up to this F. Now remember, you can always find the notes. You can look at our diagram at the top, or you can always just count up from the C or count down. C, B, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Remember, it always stops at G and starts over at A. So let me get out my left hand one more time before we finish today. Uh, let's see, right up there. Start on that C. I went down to school one day. Now I'm home and want to play. Well done. I'm so happy that you stuck with it. And keep practicing tonight. If you'd like to FaceTime your grandparents, I'm sure they would love to hear it. Probably most of them had to take piano when they were kids. And they would love to see what you're doing. I know my kids love FaceTiming their grandparents. Um, so practice it tonight. If you can, go to mckeemusictherapy.com. Go to the activities page and you can print out today's sheet. You can also print out yesterday's sheet as well. It's still there. And um, so make sure you follow us on Facebook so that you get um, every class each day and that if we come up with new things, you'll be alerted to that as well. And definitely go to YouTube. That's where you're gonna wanna watch the replay so you can keep practicing over and over and keep getting better at it. And it'll just kind of become in your muscle memory on your fingers and it will be much easier. But anyway, so YouTube is youtube.com forward slash McKee Music Therapy, that's M-C-K-E-E. -E. Make sure there you click subscribe down below, click the notify button so you know when all the um, videos get uploaded to it. We also have some other fun things there. We have a ukulele class we did a couple weeks ago. We have some songs just on the ukulele. We have a lot of activities on the guitar or just singing, different fun things. If you know anyone um, with a disability in your family, we have a lot of stuff there. For those people as well, especially autism, Down syndrome, apraxia, um, Parkinson's, we have a whole, all our playlists are done by goal area. So there's a goal area for speech and motor skills and following directions and Parkinson's. And um, we also have the piano keyboard playlist. That's where you're going to find these classes. We have the ukulele playlist where you'll find those. So make sure you help us out. Click subscribe on our YouTube channel. I will put the link um, on our Facebook page, but it's just youtube.com forward slash McKee Music Therapy. Click subscribe so you make sure you get all that information and you can print out your things, practice it tonight, and I will see you tomorrow, same time, same place. Have a great day.